What's going on guys? This is Knasty3890 here. Welcome back to another episode of Seattle Manor's expansion franchise episode number 11. If you guys are kind of new to the series, basically we started off by gutting out the whole team and system the first year and it's kind of like an expansion team. It's now 2023. It's been about five years. We've been improving every single year. As you can see, we won 28 games our first year, then 54, then 66. We went down to 65, and then 75 last year. And this year, we have the number five ranked team. Great pitching, good contact, a young lineup for sure. The oldest player is probably Solaire at 31. Oh, Cesar Hernandez is 32, and Walters is 30. Other than that, it's young, talented hitters. Pitching's a little older, but it's really good. DeGrom, Yarlin Garcia, Joe Musgrove has that great walks per nine, so I think he's going to be a stud. Luke Weaver, who is a number four, is great. And then Puck at five, bullpen looks pretty strong. Like, if we can just somewhat hit, we should be good. Now, make sure I forgot to check the end of the last video to upgrade scouts, but it looks like we have the best. We do have the number 10 pick, I think. Or I think, or was it seven? I can't remember. It's one of those two. Hopefully, we can get a blue chip in that. But let's start the season, boys. Let's get this season going. Hopefully, we can make the playoffs this year for the first time. Triple oh, A has one too many players. Send one guy down to Class A. There we go. That's fixed. And I know they're going to say fix your lineup. There we go. The lineup is fixed. But I want to make sure our best prospects are playing every day. I'm looking at you, Bullinger. I'm looking at you, Lopez. Some of these first round picks. High first round picks with great potential, especially Bollinger has that 99 potential. He's going to be in our outfield next year, barring him just being god awful. And right now, we're not too hot for a team. Okay, now we're just chilling around 500. Villanueva just signed a contract the offseason, got traded for Greg Allen and Andrew Heaney. All right, there's loyalty at its best. Frank Beltran for Edmund Sosa. Sosa's name sounds familiar. I must have had him in a different franchise. Um, well, the name just sounds really familiar. I don't know. Beltran, I'm okay with moving him because I just don't think he'll ever play on our team. But for this second baseman win, right now our second baseman is Hernandez. But we have a second baseman in the future in Tommy Park. So I, there's no need for Sosa. I am okay with trading Beltran if we can get a, a position of need back. Maybe like a young starter. Maybe a young reliever. Right now we're 32 and 22. We're not winning the division because our division's stacked. But we are winning the wild card. How's the team doing so far? DeGrom has been great. Garcia's struggled a little bit. Musgrove's been great. Weaver has definitely struggled. Puck has pitched all right, all right I guess. Bregman struggles a long man. Seagrass has been good. Bowen's been good. Bulger's been good. Law's been good. Robertson's been pretty good. Miller's been all right, 368. It's been probably his worst <laughs> since he's been a reliever, pretty much. Um, but I think he'll turn around. So I'm hoping like Garcia can turn around, especially Weaver. How's the line doing? Ordonez is not hitting for him, 254. Does have 13 home runs at the end of May, though, so the power is there. Brett and Rogers only three home runs at 254 average. Pavin Smith, 12 home runs already at the end of May. Annual Hart, 247, six bombs. Hope for a little bit more from him. Solaire, there we go. 325, 10 bombs. Hernandez is in over 300. Walters in over 300. Freddie Cox, there we go, Cox. 304 for the former, I think he was a number one draft pick or number three draft pick. Feliz, the youngster. 273, that's not too bad. 273, I mean, he's I'm he's making nothing, and we were able to get a lot for um Bradley. Now, uh, let's take a look. So, how many blue chippers are there? Oh, there's a lot. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There's 13. Are you there? The 7th or the 10th pick. And there's how many closers? There's 4. I don't want to take a closer. I'd probably take anything else other than that. I don't love the, a 22-year-old who's going to take some time to develop. But let's see what's available when we pick. Hopefully, we can get another home run. The 8th pick. I was not even close. Any other picks do we have? The sixth pick in the second round. A compensatory round pick, even though we didn't lose Addison Reed, we get a compensatory round pick. That makes no sense. I'll take it, though. I ain't going to complain. All right. So. There's a catcher who's going to take some time. Great contact. Not a great fielder, but great contact, great vision. I'm okay with taking Buddy Lou. 
There's a couple closers. Another catcher who would be who's ready. Oh, now his potential should be good. Usually these guys, when they're like going to be ready in a year or two, usually aren't good potential. But as a blue chip, he should have great potential. Look at that power, 70 and 80. Contacts average to almost above average. Could have 80 fielding too. Not great vision, discipline, just average to above average. But great fielder with power at catcher. Rick Pearson, I like that. A shortstop who's going to take a few years. He's already 22, not too high on that. Escobar, kind of the same thing. I'm taking Rick Pearson. The other guy is Buddy Loop. I'm going to take Rick Pearson. Power, fielding, combo. Could be ready in like a year or two. Right now, we don't really have a great... Buddy Lou went to the Royals. We'll check the Royals. We don't have a great line of succession behind Walters, so he could be that next backstop for us. All right, round two. Third baseman with some pop and fielding. Roberto Amaya probably will take him. Bill Watson, another catcher. I mean, can't hurt. Yeah, let's take the catcher. I would. Let's just load up a catcher. He's better scouted. He's only 19. Yeah, and if I mean, catchers always have value in these too. Maybe that third baseman's still available. I'll definitely take him if he is. A, he is. Amaya's available. Looks to be having an elite bat with 70 fielding. He could be a stud maybe. I'm liking this draft so far, guys. Not sure if it will actually pan out. Um, Kaufman, he should go to the Royals. Uh, a shortstop who will take... It was a project. Oh, another third baseman. Um, I'm going to take a chance on this starter, Christensen, just because if he pans out, that could be a stud. And it's in the third round, so I'll take a chance on that. But our late round picks have been studs lately. We've been just drafting so well. All right, I'm going to take, let's take Vincent. I know this guy has 80 and it says 75 potential, but he's three years younger, and that is a big difference. And we do have Brendan Rodgers, who I know hasn't played great yet, but I'm still high on him. But that shortstop's still available, so we'll take him here in the fifth round. I don't know, maybe maybe we see stuff that other teams don't, but I really like this draft. And I'll just take Murillo in the last round. Shot in the dark. We'll see what happens. Let's see how that draft was, boys. Whoa! Before we look at the draft, we just won a game 23 to nothing. Holy shit. Ordonez went 3 for 5. Everyone had a hit except Alpin, who must have just been like, he's, yeah, he's one of our bench guys. And we had a backup at third base. Feliz played DH, and he batted second. That's weird. He went 2 for 6. Soler went 3 for 5. Pavitt Smith went 4 for 6. Rogers went 3 for 4. Walters went 3 for 5. Who hit home run? Soler, Smith, Rogers, and Goodrum. There we go. And DeGrom pitched 7 innings, 4 hits, 5 walks, struck out 4. Damn, that's a beatdown. All right, how was the draft? Oh, we did it again! <laughs> that guy's... Oh, he's going to be a stud. He's going to be... He's Gary Sanchez. Maybe with the worst arm. But he's literally Gary Sanchez. Great power. Actually, I should take that back. He's not Gary Sanchez because he has fielding. If you swapped out like the 60 and the 79 fielding to arm, he's Gary Sanchez. Oh, that's a sick pick. We did it again. And then Watson, 82 potential. Amaya's 84, and those are solid. Christensen's 80. But he's already 64 overall, so that's not bad. Johnny Vincent, that's not a great pick at 74 potential. But then uh, Graham, great speed. We'll see if anything else develops. And then Murillo in this last round, 82. Rick Pearson, look at that, pow that power fielding. And he already has durability. Like, yeah, in a year or two, he can be a catcher. And he's going to hit you 25 home runs, play elite defense maybe. Won't do anything else, but he'll do those two things. Let's see what else was there. And like I said, the Royals took that other catcher we were looking at. Buddy Lute, we took the right the right guy. Did we do it again with like the number like the first pick? Did we take the best? No, we didn't. <laughs> uh, 99 potential. He's 22 and he's only a 55 overall. But there is 99 potential. But I don't know. Like it's art. You can argue... This is a closer, so I don't really. I would rather have the guy we got than the closer. I don't know. Maybe our pick was the best again. We got Stoltz. 94 potential. He's already 22, 47 overall. Like those guys, I'm not sure if I'll make it. All right. Guzman was the best. Wow, they had a good draft. They got Guzman. That's the best pick. Frank Guzman. I think he went 1 2. Tim Droder, 93 
with great speed. Yeah, that's a good pick. So we didn't get the best pick. But we've been nailing these drafts, guys. Just absolutely nailing these drafts. Like, we got five Bs and a 96A. You can't do much better than that. All right, let's keep her going, guys. So there's our future catcher. Tiger's interest in a trade. Rodrigo Velasquez. Wow, that was so hard for me to say. I don't know why. Why would I give up his B potential? And it's going up. This guy's 32. He's not even he's playing in the minors. No, I'm good. That's a stupid trade. Oh, that was... These last, like, three drafts, we got the 99 potential, then we got, like, the 94, but with a, g a good young outfielder, and then we got the 96 potential. We're having a bad month of May, though. Uh, June, excuse me. Like, those drafts set us up. The only thing that's not great is that there weren't starters with those eight potentials. Man, we are really bad right now. Um, Russell Grove. It's a C potential, I believe. Did I go by him? There he is. For Brian Garcia. No, I'm good. All right, we'll see where we're at the trade deadline. We are, we have, we were ten games above five hundred. We're now one game above five hundred. All right, just rolled off some wins and we lost two in a row. We are five games over five hundred, three out of the division. We're, we're our run differential though is really good. We're one and a half out of the wild card. Number one prospect in baseball, and he's improving at everything right now, which is great to see. We also have the number five prospect with Lopez. I might call him up. If other people are struggling, Park, he's improving. This is a great year for us, guys. Carlos Lopez, he, holy shit, a plus seven in contact versus left and a plus three and five in power. Damn, yeah. He's going to be ready soon. I don't know where we're going to play. Maybe D, maybe we put one of these guys at DH. Lopez actually probably is a DH based on that durability and feeling. So he's probably a future DH, but that's fine. Beltran, I mean, maybe we trade him for a guy. Shimizu, uh, maybe we trade him for a guy. He does have great speed. Or maybe we call him up to be a bench uh, guy. I don't know. So, how's the team doing? DeGrom's been great. Garcia's pitching better. Musgrove's doing all right. Weaver is struggling. Puck is okay. Bullpen? Other than Robertson, which I might swap out Law Robertson. I mean, Miller hasn't been normal Miller. Lopez isn't pitching dominant in AAA, so I don't want to call him up yet. How's Gomes? He's pitching all right, not great. Um, so let's see. Park in AA, 257, five home runs, but he's improving. Paul Spann has 16 home runs, and he's improving. Nice. We got so many guys. Like Bollinger's only hitting 254, but he is improving. Lopez, 251. How about the Major League? So Ordonez, I mean, the power is great. I want to see a little bit more better average. He gets on base, though. Brendan Rodgers, 255, 7 home runs only. Pavin Smith, 290, 21 home runs. Let's move Soler up. I'm probably going to put Hernandez batting second. Let's do that. Feliz hasn't been great. He has 12 stolen bases somehow. He probably has been caught a ton. Oh, only two, actually. That's good. What do we... Go, do we go trade for a older power bat? To just be a DH, like a J.D. Martinez type? I I would like... I mean, if that's someone I want to get, like, we need power, I guess. Or do we call up... Ooh, Jake Bowers. He just got called up in real life. Um... Or do we call up? Because that's a weakness on our team, I think. Let's take a look at the statistics. Team rankings. We're first in batting average. Tied for first. Um, runs, we are fourth. Home runs, we are 18th. Uh, fielding percentage, we're probably pretty low on that. We are 24th. ERA, we are 8th. But... We are second in the American League, so keep that in mind. National League always has an advantage. The Yankees having the best ERA is pretty impressive. Do we call up? This might be kind of risky. Call up Span, have him be our DH, and there's a little bit of power. 
because Feliz isn't really giving us much pop. He's not heading for great average. Let's do that. And do we have a great speed guy off the bench? Let's do this. We're going to... Okay, let's do... I got an idea. Let's call down Lopez to double A. He'll clear waivers. I'm calling down double A because I'm calling up Span. And then I do want to call up some speed. Do I call up? Do I? He's an A potential, but do I call him? No, I'm gonna call up Holmes for that speed off the bench. Yeah, let's do that. And we'll send down Alpin. And I do want to keep Feliz on the team because he can hit, and we may need a pinch hitter for a hit. But Span with that power. He has like the top prospect thing going. Was he a top prospect? Did I just miss that? Did did he jump into the top prospect list? Span. I don't think I saw his name on this. Oh, he's forty one. Wow, he did. He's a, like I don't know. We'll see how he does. Does he help us out with that power? We'll see. I, I'm not going to make any moves. We're just going to rock, rock with this team. We're a young team mostly. See if we can make the playoffs. And maybe Span can just... I'm hoping maybe if he can hit us 15 home runs over the final two months. I mean, that's seven to eight a month. That's a little asking for a little bit. But, hey, he's got light tower power. All right. So, let's see where we are now. We're four out of the division. Half a game out of the wild card. Rangers and Blue Jays. How's Span doing? <laughs> one seventy six, one home run. I'll let him go a little longer. We'll go through like the San Diego series. How's he doing? Yeah, okay, that didn't work. We'll put Feliz back in. So, all right, we are okay. I'm not sure we're gonna be able to catch the Angels. Rangers and Blue Jays. Do we play those teams? We probably play the Rangers. Yep, there's a Rangers there and there. So let's get through this. All right. We're two games back, three games back. Damn it. All right, that was big. We swept the A's. We're tied with the Astros now. Do we play the Astros again? No, it's just Texas. Oh my goodness, we didn't we didn't make the playoffs. Wait. No, wait, because these are both the same team. So one of those Okay, this is weird. I was gonna say, where did this other team come by? Okay, so the Astros are tied with us. For the because the Rangers of the Angels, one of those won the division. The other team is the one wild card. So you, and we're tied with the Astros for the second wild card. If we win this game, the Astros lose. We're in the wild card game. If we lose and the Astros lose, we play a plan for the wild card. If we win and the Astros win, we play in the wild card. One final game. No, we lost. And we got blown out. And there you go, the Astros won. Oh, we missed it by one game. Uh, maybe me being an idiot with Span. I don't know. We might have hurt him as a player, too. I mean, at least Feliz is improving. His potential's going up again. He had 283 12 home runs. I mean, Cox had a breakout year. That's big. His potential's going up too. Brennan Rogers. I mean, the power's not bad. The average, I, that might have been a career year for him, actually. Almost for war career. Uh, Annual Hard definitely went down. I was hoping for a little bit more. He's a free agent. I'll try to keep him, but he shouldn't cost a ton. His power versus left went down 16. So Lair was great. I'm probably not going to keep him, though, because we do have the number one prospect in baseball. Pavin Smith, 33 home runs, 287 average. Hernandez at 306. Ordonez, 24 home runs for the youngster. Not too shabby. DeGrom was pretty good. Garcia struggled. That was not great. Musgrove, 3-2. Weaver struggled. Puck was pretty good. He was actually really good. I'll take that back for the youngster. Um, yeah, we have the number one prospect. He's going to be on the big league club next year. 
He'll be our right fielder or our left fielder. Yeah, he could be right. Lopez, uh, I think one more year in the minors will serve him well. Uh, Park, I think one, I maybe keep Hernandez for one more year and maybe call him up midseason if he continues to improve. I don't want to rush him. He's only 22. And then we also have Lopez. He improved a lot. 10 power versus left and 9 contact versus left. He's a DH. And I think one more year in the minors will do him well. So I don't think any of these guys other than Bollinger is going to get called up. Oh, we missed it by one freaking game. Mazzara got MVP and Aaron Judge. Montgomery and Blake Snell got Cy Youngs. Soler got the batting title. We got that. Rookie of the year went to a 28-year-old from the Dominican, Hernandez. And Fernando Tatis, he's a legit rookie. Had a great year, 28 bombs. Any other awards did we get? New. Oh, Silver Slugger at first. Oh, how did Bobby Bradley do? I'm curious how he did. One freaking game. Bobby Bradley, where are you? I know you guys say there's like the search tool, but we found him right here. 245. He hit 30 home runs. Actually had a good year. His average was down. But we did get Garcia, who didn't have a great year, actually. But he's under control. But, yeah, I mean, we had the amazing draft, which is great. Missed it by a game. That hurts. Let me see who wins the World Series. And it was the Angels defeat the Nationals. So... That hurts. But we'll be hopefully in the playoffs next year, guys. We're getting close. We're getting real close. And we have money to spend this offseason. So next off, this offseason coming up, the next episode should be an interesting one, guys. See you then. Hope you enjoyed this. Talk to you all later. Peace.